Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I am Andy RC and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to make an RSSI low pass filter, also known as an RC filter or a DAC, which stands for Digital to Analog Converter. You need one of these to convert pulse width modulation or PWM for short. RSSI signals into analog RSSI signals. Now if you want to know more about RSSI then search on the channel and watch my RSSI explanation video. But I noticed that there aren't any videos showing how to make an RSSI low pass filter which is surprising because a lot of receivers need one such as the open LRS systems. So we have our three components, the male to male servo lead, the 10 microfarad capacitor, and the 10k resistor. The first thing that I'm going to do is remove these legs on the capacitor so that they're a bit shorter so that we have a nice neat job. I'm just going to spread them out a bit so they don't touch while soldering. Then I'm going to remove the voltage pin from the servo. You just use a screwdriver and lift the flap up there and it just pulls out. Same on the other side. Then I'm going to separate the wires. We don't need the voltage pin, of course, we're only using two pins here. Those are stuck together, so just peel that away. Then I'm going to cut that wire in half so that we can put our resistor and capacitor into the circuit. I'm going to strip the wires. Next, I'm going to tin the wires, speed that up a bit, using my helping hands. Now I'm going to cut the resistor short. Not too short, but just enough so that we can solder it. As I say, we want a nice neat job here. So I've got the resistor in the helping hands now, and I'm tinning that. Next we're going to take the signal wire and that is going to solder onto the resistor. It doesn't have to be in any order, it can be either end. Then going to tin the resistor. Okay, this signal wire is going to solder onto the positive side on the capacitor. The way to know that is there is a line on the negative side. So I'm soldering this in there, just leaving enough room so that I can solder the other wire onto the other end without it falling off. Okay, I think that's in nicely there. Just give it a tug, make sure nothing is loose. And now I'm going to do the same with the ground wire. You can see there we've got that line down the side of the capacitor. That is the negative side of the capacitor. Again, I've left myself just enough room so that I can solder both wires onto the leg and it doesn't fall off when I solder it. So I'm now twisting the wires together so that we've got a nice neat job. Making sure that none of the components are touching and we don't have any shorts, of course. Okay, there's a close-up of that. Just so you can see what it looks like. I've sort of bent the components back slightly. Again, making sure they don't touch. And then the last thing to do, this is liquid tape. I'm just covering all the exposed parts, making sure that they can't touch or short out. And here is the finished product. You're going to want to leave it 24 hours to cure, but it dries within about five minutes so you can touch it. So there you go. That is my tutorial on how to make a low pass filter slash RC filter slash DAC. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.